Hello and welcome back to Game Domain. Our 33 Crazy Facts series has been one of our personal favorites here at Game Domain, and you guys have seemed to like that series as well. So far we have brought you guys four different editions of 33 Crazy Facts, each of which covered three different gaming franchises. To this date, we have covered the following franchises, Super Mario, The Legend of Zelda, Pokemon, Star Fox, Metroid, Animal Crossing, Halo, Call of Duty, GTA 5, Super Smash Bros, Kirby, and Pikmin. There are, of course, plenty of franchises we have left to cover, but we thought for this video, we'd take a dive back into the world of Nintendo's three flagship franchises, Super Mario, The Legend of Zelda, and Pokemon. It is without debate that these three franchises have easily grown to become the most popular Nintendo franchises, and sit atop the hill as the ones that Nintendo advertises and push their message with the most. So in this edition of 33 Crazy Facts, we are going to give you guys 33 more crazy facts about Super Mario, The Legend of Zelda, and Pokemon. Now let's get into the video. Number 1. The Generation 1 Pokemon Slowbro is the only Pokemon that can devolve. According to various Pokedex entries from throughout the series, Slowpoke evolves when a shelter latches onto its tail. And these Dex entries also state that if this shelter somehow detaches, the evolved Slowbro will devolve back into a Slowbro. Number 2. The warp zones in the original Super Mario Bros. exist only because of the game Excitebike. Excitebike was Miyamoto's last game before he landed the success of Super Mario and The Legend of Zelda, and the style of levels of that game directly influenced the addition of warp zones into the original Super Mario Bros. Number 3. The N64's The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is the greatest game of all time. What? We told you this list was going to be a list of facts. Number 4. Two of the most popular and well-known Pokemon, Pikachu and Meowth, were designed purposefully to be complete opposites of each other. Pikachu has the Pokedex number 25, while Meowth has the reverse Pokedex number of 52. In the Pokemon anime, Pikachu is the main companion of the good guy, Ash, while Meowth is the main companion of the bad guy, Jesse and James. And of course, there is the cat and mouse rivalry between the two. Number 5. In the original Japanese release of Super Mario Kart, the victory sprites of both Princess Peach and Bowser showcase them celebrating by drinking champagne. Nintendo took a more G-rating aspect to this victory in the stateside release, opting to have them just jump around rather than drink champagne. Number 6. The first two Zelda games actually take place towards the end of the hectic Legend of Zelda timeline. The original title of Zelda 2 takes place in the alternative universe where Link failed to defeat Ganon in Ocarina of Time. Number 7. When the Generation 1 Pokemon Magnemite evolves, it joins with two more Magnemites to create Magneton. But the Pokedex brings us an odd fact about this evolution line. The pre-evolved form, Magnemite, weighs 13.2 pounds, so logically Magneton would weigh just three times that amount, at 39.6 pounds. But no. Megaton weighs 132.3 pounds. Yeah, Megaton gained a whole lot of weight. What, this fact is useless? That's the whole point of the series. None of these are meant to make a difference in your life whatsoever. Number 8. The original Super Mario Bros. gave us the Hammer Bros. variation of the Koopa enemies, and they usually sit in the middle of your path throwing hammers while they wait for you to dodge them and advance through the level. But if you wait long enough, the Hammer Bros. will just straight up charge at you and go berserk. Number 9. Link, the main protagonist in the Legend of Zelda series, is left-handed. Yes, that's right lefties! You finally have a heroic role model to look to. Number 10. Tangela's Pokedex entry in Generation 1 reads like this. Tangela, a vine Pokemon. Its body is wrapped in vines. The rest of its form is hidden beneath these vines. Tangela is described as a vine Pokemon, so surely you can teach it the move Vine Whip, right? Yeah, not in Generation 1. Yeah, that's right. Tangela can't learn Vine Whip in Generation 1. Wow. Number 11. The original Super Mario Bros. is stored on a 256 kilobit cartridge. Yeah, that's right. You didn't even know kilobit was a thing. You guys are always worried that your 1TB Xbox One X won't be able to hold all of your games, and you never even realized how small games from the 80s really were. And most of those old games are better than what you're playing now. Number 12. 
Miyamoto was inspired to make the Legend of Zelda series because of the Indiana Jones movies. Miyamoto said that he wanted to bring this type of adventure into a video game. If only Harrison Ford would play Link in the live-action movie. Number 13. Most Pokemon fans are familiar with Mew and Mewtwo, but many forget the anime appearances of Mew 3 and Mew 4 in the Orange Island anime saga. What? You don't remember? Yeah, that's because it didn't happen. So yeah, this fact is just that. Mew 3 doesn't exist. You're welcome for wasting a few seconds of your time. Number 14. The backstory of the family-friendly Super Mario games is actually rooted in incredibly dark lore. Bowser and the Koopas are really black magic wizards who have turned the people of the Mushroom Kingdom into bushes, blocks, and mushrooms. Yeah, pretty creepy. It's all just an illusion, kind of like this video. Nah, we're just kidding. Or are we? Number 15. The late actor and comedian Robin Williams named his daughter after Princess Zelda. He was a very big Nintendo fan and expressed his wish to voice Ganondorf in a film or show if it was ever made. Number 16. The weaknesses of Psychic-type Pokémon are all based on common fears of humanity. Psychic Pokémon have a weakness to ghost types, as humans have common fears of ghosts. Psychic Pokémon also have a weakness to bug types, as many humans have a slight fear and creep of bugs. Psychic Pokémon are also weak to dark types, playing off a common fear of the dark among children. Yeah, Nintendo series are really pretty dark in nature. Number 17. Super Mario Maker 2 was the last Super Mario game released. What? It's a fact, so calm down. Number 18. When thinking of an aesthetic design for Link, Miyamoto and his team turned to Disney characters for inspiration. They took after the design of Peter Pan, hence why Link's green tunic outfit slightly resembles the outfit of Peter Pan. Number 19. There are many unattainable shiny Pokemon in the Pokemon series. These are Pokemon that appear before you, but you're unable to catch them. Some of these unattainable shiny Pokemon are the Zigzagoon or Puchiena you encounter while saving Professor Birch in the Generation 3 Hoenn titles, the Weedle the old man catches while he teaches you how to catch a Pokemon in Fire Red and Leaf Green, and the Ralts that Wally catches in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. All of these shiny Pokemon torment you if they show up in your game and you can never do anything about it. Number 20. In Mario's original appearance in the Donkey Kong arcade game, he was known as Jumpman and was a carpenter instead of a plumber. Oh, how the times have changed. Number 21. The Wii's Skyward Sword is actually the first game in the Legend of Zelda timeline, even though it is actually the second most recent title in real life. Number 22. The Pokemon Growlithe, oh my, this hurts to say, can't learn growl. Yes, that's right. The Pokemon whose name starts with the word growl cannot learn the move growl. And it's a dog. Isn't that what they do when they're mad? Come on, Nintendo. Just come on. Number 23. Mario was named after the landlord of the Nintendo of America office, Mario Segale. Did you care? No. But is it cool? Yes. Number 24. Young Link in Ocarina of Time is voiced by a woman. Yeah, Nintendo has pulled a few blatant gender switches on us. Number 25, staying on topic of gender switches, the main protagonist of the Pokemon anime, Ash, has always been voiced by a woman. No wonder Misty always made fun of him. Number 26, the title Mario Brothers to describe Mario and Luigi means something more. Yeah, you don't want to hear this, but it's kind of true. This means that Luigi's full name is Luigi Mario, and Mario's full name is Mario Mario. Is it confirmed? No. Is it a fact? Well, why wouldn't it be? Number 27. The infamous Nintendo Power magazine held a contest back in the day that gave a fan their name in a Nintendo game. The winner was featured in The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, as Chris Houlihan has his own super secret room hidden in the game's map. The room is filled with rupees and displays the text, My name is Chris Houlihan. This is my top secret room. Keep it between us, okay? Pretty neat. Number 28. All of the musical themes for the islands in the Sevi Islands in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green are just Generation 2 songs updated with the new GBA music engine. Yeah, no wonder those themes sounded so awesome. Number 29. 
In early Donkey Kong merchandise, Mario was depicted as bald. Nice to know he used some supplements and grew his hair back in time for the release of his own title. Number 30. You can beat the original Legend of Zelda in only 30 minutes. This can be done through exploiting a glitch in the game, obviously, and the world speedrun record is held by YouTuber LackAttack24 at 28 minutes 50 seconds. Wow, if only we were smart enough to do stuff like that. Number 31. Pokemon is the number one highest grossing media franchise of all time. It sits at nearly $9 billion more than the second closest, Hello Kitty. Number 32. Mario is Nintendo's flagship character. Yeah, also a fact, so stop complaining. Number 33. The original Legend of Zelda game is known in Japan as The Legend of Zelda The Hyrule Fantasy. And there you have it, another useless fact to wrap up the list. As always, we sure had a lot of fun putting this list together. As always, these 33 crazy fact videos are meant to be slightly satirical, so don't take all this stuff too seriously. Tell us what you thought of today's video in the comment section below. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave a like on today's video, as well as check out some of our recent uploads. Make sure you also check out the links in the description, as there you'll find the link to our Patreon and to join our Discord. Join our Discord to connect with our staff here at the channel, as well as participate in the great Domain Legion content we have going on there. Our Discord is open to all gaming fans, as we now have over 400 plus fans of the channel and gamers talking about what we love to do every single day. So come on and join to participate in this great community. We would once again like to thank you guys for all of your incredible support, and thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you next time.